In those days Jesus Christ will send them not a true pastor, but a destroyer. St. Francis of Assisi Shortly before he died, St. Francis of Assisi called together his followers and warned them of the coming troubles, saying, The time is fast approaching in which there will be great trials and afflictions, perplexities and dissensions, both spiritual and temporal, will abound, the charity of many will grow cold, and the malice of the wicked will increase. The devils will have unusual power, the immaculate purity of our order, and of others, will be so much obscured that there will be very few Christians who will obey the true sovereign pontiff and the Roman church with loyal hearts and perfect charity. At the time of this tribulation a man, not canonically elected, will be raised to the pontificate, who, by his cunning, will endeavor to draw many into error and death. Then scandals will be multiplied, our order will be divided, and many others will be entirely destroyed, because they will consent to error instead of opposing it. There will be such diversity of opinions and schisms among the people, the religious and the clergy, that, except those days were shortened, according to the words of the gospel, even the elect would be led into error, were they not specially guided, amid such great confusion, by the immense mercy of God. Then our rule and manner of life will be violently opposed by some, and terrible trials will come upon us. Those who are found faithful will receive the crown of life, but woe to those who, trusting solely in their order, shall fall into tepidity for they will not be able to support the temptations permitted for the proving of the elect. Those who preserve their fervor and adhere to virtue with love and zeal for the truth will suffer injuries and persecutions as rebels and schismatics, for their persecutors, urged on by the evil spirits, will say they are rendering a great service to God by destroying such pestilent men from the face of the earth. But the Lord will be the refuge of the afflicted, and will save all who trust in him. And in order to be like their head Christ, these, the elect, will act with confidence, and by their death will purchase for themselves eternal life. Choosing to obey God rather than man, they will fear nothing, and they will prefer to perish rather than consent to falsehood and perfidy. Some preachers will keep silence about the truth, and others will trample it underfoot and deny it. Sanctity of life will be held in derision even by those who outwardly profess it, for in those days Jesus Christ will send them not a true pastor, but a destroyer. Let us now say the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek. To be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.